Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's story contains dash cam video featured on the Kansas City Star website, showing footage of a traffic stop made on March 11th, 2021. Detective Herb Robinson is driving the vehicle shown in the video. The vehicle is an unmarked unit. Herb was using it to travel to his off-duty employment. The video starts with officers Cole Modir and Marco Olivas committing a traffic violation by traveling straight in a lane designated for turning right. The officers follow Detective Robinson for about a mile while running his plates, but they don't turn up any information because the vehicle is owned by the Kansas City Board of Police Commissioners. Detective Robinson makes a poor excuse at signaling a lane change. However, the simple two-flash is actually legal, but the officers still initiate a traffic stop. <laughs> Once stopped, Detective Robinson exits his vehicle, a dangerous move that typically telegraphs to the officers that they are dealing with someone who is aggressive, may attack, or, as we've seen multiple times before, is a cop trying to get out of a traffic ticket. The officers berate the detective and let him go. Detective Robinson reported the encounter to his superiors, hoping the officers would face discipline. He was later told the situation was handled, but wasn't given any details. The Kansas City Police Department refuses to announce why Detective Robinson was stopped or whether the stop was legit. Citing exemptions in the Sunshine Law, the department also refuses to say whether the two were disciplined. If these officers were inclined to treat a higher-ranking officer in the same department with such disrespect, Imagine how they would treat any ordinary member of the public that doesn't have the luxury of flashing a badge to get out of a traffic citation after the officers initiating the traffic stop were the only ones to break any traffic laws. We are constantly told that police are not above the law, while at the same time, we are shown that statement is false. There's quite a bit more information on this incident on the Kansas City Star's website and YouTube channel. Links to the original story and video will be provided in the description and pinned comment. As always, Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like to submit for review, use the link in the description or pinned comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for future content. And remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. It really helps the channel. If you enjoy our content, try our other channels, Lackluster Limited for criminal psychology content and The Odd Side for paranormal videos. Shirts and other merchandise are available at the Teespring store. Memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to help further support the channel and get a slick lack logo next to your name. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All links are down below.